So today we use two computers uh, to, to show you how to set up the teamwork and how to work uh, mm -hmm. effectively in the teamwork. <coughs> on my computer, uh, I have, uh, have a, a, we call it a base project. Uh, there's, a, there's a project that I have created previously, and that is setting up the basics of the, of the common work uh, for us. Yes. This could be anything, but in this, in this case, uh, we focus on a building, uh, a, a series of buildings. So what I've created, I created a, a, a sketch, or let's say, let's say like a conceptual uh, initial um, drawing of this, of this building. And this is uh, where we start from. Uh, everything that I have created will be turned into, we will call it a, a master uh, workspace or a work, working area uh, where everything that exists already, uh, whichever uh, phase and whichever development in this drawing in, will be the basic uh, or, the, or the starter mm -hmm. or the common part of that project where you and every, each and every other team member will work. This actually focuses uh, on um, basics like uh, layers, um, levels, I mean flo the floor system itself and the content itself. So if you do not want to start with a complete, bu uh, complete building, that's fine, that, that will also work. Uh, this, this time we will start with a building which we will extend during the, the, the common work. That's right. So let's see how we set up a team project. <clears throat> okay, so setting up a team project, uh, as I told, you will always start with an existing project, however evolved or developed that project is. This is the, this is the regular project that I've created in Archline. There is a 2D with, um, you know, all the, let me just go, go here, with all the uh, levels and so there's um, nothing fancy over here. Not, this nothing is an special. average Archline project. Yeah, just, that's just a regular project. And then, I go to the file and there is the teamwork and there is the new project. Well, mm -hmm. I will use, I will turn this existing project, this actually describes that. Uh, I will turn this project into a team project so I will be able to share with you and with other colleagues. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, as you can see, th there's kind of a summary here. So, so the floor structure will be uh, common. Uh, the layers, the geolocation, and uh, the, the the drawing itself will be will be something that we will call as a as a as an as an origin or a yes. or a, a base project. So when I click OK, the software will <coughs> okay it, it will it will handle it from this point on. It will ha handle it as a team project. Just when I save it, I will use this name. I I created one previously, but I will use this one. Uh, and when I click on save, the software will actually just uh, make me remember that I should also create members of the mm -hmm. team to be able Definitely. to work together. So this is the point where you actually <coughs> bring in team members yes. and opening up accounts. Perhaps. Yes, yes. This is the initial uh, in invitation of team, team members or, mm -hmm. or creation of team members. But of course, later you can uh, add and remove team members uh, on demand, uh, however the team changes. But what I do now, I will, I will add three members. Uh, let's, let's make you the first. Uh, this will be the first user. You can decide uh, either the user will have a, have a simple login. That means you do not have to type uh, your password. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. When you would like to log into the, to the teamwork. Uh, let's, let's leave it that way. That, that makes a very simple login. And for myself, I will set up an account uh, um, with login. So for that, I will type a password. Does that and mean that <coughs> you are going to be the administrator? No, this this is just my user. My mm -hmm. my username, my identity uh, is from this point on. It will be protected by a password. Uh, but this this has nothing to do with the administrative mm -hmm. rights. That that is uh, ministered uh, via the uh, work areas, which we will talk a little bit later. So I just. Use this user. Uh, this is my name, and then let, let's just add one of our uh, team members here. He will be Thomas, and he will be the other one uh, working on this project. We'll, well, this time he won't really work on yes. this, but, but you will see that that but uh, later he can. So. That he, he later he can uh, join this project, and at any time when you come back to this uh, dialogue, I will show you where that is. <coughs> you can add and, and manage uh, team members. So from from this point. The software will ask me to, okay, let's say there, there, these are these users. And from before, before I, I start creating the, the other parts of this um, um, team project, and before I finish creating the team project, I also have to log in.